Do the crime, pay the time. Bodily Correctional Facility is tasked with administering the punishment, treatment, and supervision of inmates while attempting to reform them to someday face the outside world. Life behind bars comes with its own distinct challenges, from cramped living quarters, tight curfews, and limited resources, and of course, loss of freedom, liberties, and luxuries. Now, St. Lucia's lone prison has been given a helping hand to bolster the rehabilitative aspect of prison life. RISE St. Lucia, in collaboration with numerous partners, gifted the prison gym equipment on Friday morning. Director Venus Sherry notes the benefits that will be gained from the delivery of proper services to inmates. When we talk about rehabilitation, this is what it, this is what it looks like. Society coming together to say that we want better men and women coming back into our society, getting reacclimated into our society. We no longer want to have the stigma that just because for some one reason or the other you came to prison, once you've done your time and you're back out there, you should be able to get right back into work and get right back into living your life. Sherry says Rise St. Lucia's charitable donation aims to reduce the stigma associated with one having done time. That is marked that a society just looks down upon you and you can no longer get a job and pretty soon you end up right back in here because society shuns you on the outside. We want to change that and in order to do that, the prison is a rehabilitation centre but in order to do that, they need funding, they need activities, they need organisations on the outside to come in to ensure that they have the support that they need in order to accomplish the goal of the prisoners getting back into our society. Assistant Director of Corrections charged with the responsibility for rehabilitation, Alberta Joseph Felicien, received the donation, consisting of sporting paraphernalia, gym equipment, and training gear. It will definitely help in rehabilitating the inmates, especially in the social activities that we have on hold since COVID. Blackheart St. Lucia Boxing Association's David Shakes Christopher thanked the many sporting fraternities and corporate citizens who made the donation possible. We also want to call on corporate St. Lucia to support us in this drive. This drive cannot happen without their contribution. So we want this message to go near and far. Work with us. Anybody who will be seeing this news, get in touch with, with Mr. Cherry or myself or even the, the officers at the bodily correction facility to make some donation. They need a lot of things inside here. We need some TV sets so all the units can see the news. We need equipments inside of here. We need things for the females. We need things like sewing machines. You know, we need a lot of things. We'll be giving you the wish list because the wish list is right here waiting on us. So we'll be sharing it with you. So we want to call on the government of St. Lucia who spend so much money in things like jazz and carnival, but they forget the people on the hill. And the people on the hill is where everything up is on the hill. Body Lake Correctional Facility has been under heavy scrutiny following three deaths, including two reported homicides and a fatal accident, which are under investigation. The crowded penal system now stands to benefit from the donation by Rise St. Lucia to ensure one good deed leads to another. Sula Alfred, HTS News Force.